morning, everyone. I'm Moses, and I'll be talking about uh, the final part of STEAM, the M, which stands for mathematics. I'd like to share some of the insights that I have gained from studying mathematics for many years with all of you. Now, you may be wondering, why would I study maths, you know, like algebra, geometry, and calculus, none of which supposedly have any use after I graduate from college? I first started getting to maths Olympiads back in grade four. Back then, I felt that maths wasn't a hard subject. I liked all the numbers involved more than other classes that used words such as English. After looking for ways to go beyond what I was doing at school, my parents found out about the world of maths Olympiads. I soon joined my first international Olympiad in grade five. It was the world's maths team contest in China. The following year, I was selected as part of an Indonesian team that went to Hong Kong for a maths camp. Over time, I joined many more competitions, both at the national and international level. As a result, I've had the privilege of traveling to countries such as Kazakhstan and Romania to represent Indonesia in mathematics Olympiads. I've also brought the Mu Alpha Theta Mathematics Honor Society to my school in order to provide a platform for students enthusiastic towards mathematics to pursue their interests above the classroom level in the form of Mathematics Olympiads. And last September, I attended a month-long intensive training camp from the government after obtaining a medal from the National Science Olympiad in Mathematics back in July 2017. Last summer, I was inspired to do research after learning more about one problem in Indonesia, pollution. The picture you see on the left is the effects of this 2015 Southeast Asian haze that spread from Sumatra to Malaysia, while the picture on the right is the Chittagong River, located 40 miles east of Jakarta. In fact, the Chittagong River has become one of, if not the, most polluted waterways in the entire world. Inspired to solve pollution, I did some research on how game theory can be used to tackle this problem in Indonesia. Game theory is defined as the study of mathematical models of conflict and cooperation between intelligent, rational decision makers. And it is a concept that I was introduced to when I was in middle school. During my research, my experience in mathematics came into play as I had to create mathematical models to model the problems I am analyzing, as well as discover the link between the theories of game theory and the reality we face, which is pollution. After delving to the more theoretical side of the issue, I decided to turn my ideas into reality. Thus, I started SambaLink, a, non a nonprofit organization that aims to reduce waste in, in the environment by linking together households and scavengers who sell the trash they collect to recycling plants. This endeavor allows not only for the scavengers to have a higher source of income, but also helps increase the level of recycling in the environment. So, back to the question, why maths? To me, learning maths develops more than just your math skills. Maths trains the mind in many ways that many other subjects struggle to replicate. First of all, it trains your ability to think analytically when faced with a task, which means that you will be able to break up larger tasks into smaller, more manageable ones. By using this skill, we can solve problems much more efficiently by solving each individual part of the whole first. What maths also teaches you quite effectively is how to apply your, your knowledge to new scenarios. Speaking from my own experiences, there are times in the maths Olympiads that I join in where a problem is made to seem very difficult, but in fact, the solution only makes use of elementary math methods, but being used in clever ways. And this is also what had drawn me deeper into mathematics. I was amazed that you can use even the simplest formulas and theorems in order to derive the most complicated results that you would never expect. In fact, there are still many more advantages of mathematics. Maths quickens the mind. Undoubtedly, to be a better math mathematician, you have to spend time doing more problems in order to shape how you think in a logical fashion. You can't just rely on talent alone. And as you do more of these problems, you, de you develop this some sort of intuition so that when you see a problem, that problem just screams at you with the method that you should use to solve it. 
and you start to see the links between different areas of mathematics as well, to the point where you can use formulas and theorems from, say, algebra to solve hard geometry or shape problems. And these skills aren't exclusive to just mathematics alone. Once you have developed analytical skills and quicker thinking skills, you can go about just to just about any other class and use both the knowledge you have and the skills you acquire, be it in science, economics, accounting, psychology, and many more. You start to see how different concepts connect to each other and also the wider picture of what you are doing. And you also see how you can break up a large problem into smaller sub-problems that each can be solved with a using a specific technique and merged together in order to obtain the final result. But overall, I would say the most important thing I learned from maths is to persevere. There are times when I sit for four hours in a contest, doing the same three problems all over and over, trying to find a solution, but end up doing way worse than I expected. But these are just learning experiences. By going back to the questions after the competition and discovering what approach I could have used, I learned what I can do in the future. I also learned to keep going on, to push yourself to develop to be the best you can be. So I implore you to realize that mathematics teaches you things outside of what you learn in a classroom. Through, by studying more mathematics, you will be able to learn and discover more things about yourself and develop both your knowledge and, char and character in ways that you would never have expected. Thank you for your time. Thank you.